welcome back on this Monday morning. We have two main systems to monitor this week that both will be bringing in sometimes of showers and some thunderstorms as well. And then by the end of the week, we're looking at humid conditions. Now for today, there is a wind advisory that is in effect for the central and western UP. That's in that dark tan color, more of a brown color. And then the orange colored counties are the counties that are under a fire weather watch because we're going to have very low humidity values in those areas and we'll have some strong gusty winds develop throughout the day. So let's talk about those winds. Winds today will be out of the south southeast. We're talking about speeds of 25 to near 30 miles per hour, but gusts will exceed 40 to near 50 miles per hour in some places this afternoon and evening. This is seven o'clock. Eventually tonight we'll see the wind continue to decrease and wind down, but we do have the afternoon and evening with the windiest conditions. Our highs today in areas in inland to the west, we're looking at some low 70s there. Upper 60s in the central and eastern counties to a few low 70s. It'll be coolest right along Lake Michigan in the upper 50s expected there. This morning we're also seeing just a few of these very light isolated rain showers in the west and eastern counties. Uh, this little batch will continue to track east and northeast. We have a better chance of seeing some thunderstorms later on this evening for the western counties. So this is a setup and what's happening. All of this action right here in the northern plains. This area of low pressure will move through Minnesota today. And eventually we'll see the warm front move through today with a cold front moving through tomorrow afternoon across the UP. Ahead of it, you know, some of those states in the north and northern plains are expecting some severe weather. We are at a level one risk for severe weather. That's a marginal risk. That's the low end of the threshold, meaning that we could have one or two thunderstorms turn and reach the severe limit, mainly producing some small hail. And that happening later on this evening. So watch as this unfolds over the throughout today. Here's a 130 in the morning as those thunderstorms will be diminishing and that front will be right over us tomorrow afternoon. So that'll be the focal point for redevelopment of those showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon in the central and east. Here's a closer look at that rain. Here's your hour by hour for today. Here's three o'clock in the afternoon. Things are looking good as far as moisture or showers and thunderstorms, mainly dry this afternoon, but this evening and through tonight, those thunderstorms developing across the west end and then tapering off during the overnight hours. So tomorrow morning over and done with. Then tomorrow throughout the afternoon and evening, we're looking at redevelopment in the central and eastern counties as that cold front will be right over us. So as far as rainfall amounts, we're looking at about an inch in some places to a little over an inch in the eastern counties, but most areas to the west will be less than a quarter of an inch of rain. We do have more thunderstorms for the rest of this week. Morning showers on Thursday, and then it looks like we'll have some of those thunderstorms.